6 volts you can see that is drawn from this power supply and I have another voltage here that is drawn from the last power supply which is uh, capable of going from 12 volts to 15 volts and the 12 volts is set there, 6 volts is set there and I have the 3 resistors 100 ohms R1, 270 ohms R2 and 220 ohms R3. Now let me switch on, now you can see I have this, this is what is this? I, I must measure the voltages. Here it is showing 12 volts, I should keep it to 6 volts. Let me measure the voltage using the multimeter. Uh, So I have connected between 0 and plus and now let me set this to 6 volts quickly. Yeah, that is about 5.9 volts on this side. Now let me measure the voltage on this side. Using the multimeter, I will connect it to voltage range and measure DC volts. Now you can see this is 12 volts, 12.08. So this voltage source is 12 volts on this side, this voltage source from here is 6 volts. Now I want to measure what is a voltage uh, across R2. What we will do is directly we will measure the voltage. So I will connect the voltmeter across R2 and the other end of the voltmeter I connect to the ground. So what is the voltage I get? I get 6.28. You remember we calculated 6.288. Now it is 6.24 or something like that here. So the value is reasonably close. Why is it different? It is not 6.288 because these resistors are, they have a tolerance band. By now you know all resistors they have a tolerance that means what is 100 ohm need not exactly be 100 ohm, what is 270 or 220 need not exactly be 220. We calculated 6.288 with all the values exactly there but now this can be different because these are all preferred values and therefore you find it is around 6.23. Now we can actually try and check, I now remove the 6 volts, I connect it with a short and I measure the voltage now. The voltage is 3.02 that we have already seen. When I have the 6 volts shorted and only 12 volts is there, it is 3 volts. Now what I will do? I will connect the 6 volts again and remove the 12 volts and replace it by a short. I remove the 12 volts, I replace it with a short. Now I will measure the voltage here is around 2.4 or something, right? Now it has come down, is it? Yeah, 6 volts. Now it is about 3.5. So 3.5 and 3, that gives around 6 point something. So that is the voltage we got when both the voltage sources were connected together. So superposition says that you have only one voltage source, find out what is the voltage across the R2 and remove this and connect the other voltage source, here you connect it by a shard and measure what is the voltage, then you add them together, you will get the total voltage which will you will get when both the voltage sources are available. So this has been very easily shown, you can actually also measure resistances if you want. For example, after connecting, you remember the total resistance, I can now put it in resistance mode and measure the resistance, I will switch off the power supply. Now I want to measure what is the resistance after shorting on this side. I want to measure what is the resistance across this point. 
total resistance. This is uh, this is the total resistance. This is nothing but 100 ohms plus the parallel value of 220 and 270 that is shown to be around. Uh, I have shot here. Yeah, this 100 ohm plus 220 and 270, etc., gives me around. 219 or 220 ohms that is a parallel. Similarly, I can measure the effective resistance from this side also and then I can compare with the calculations that I have done already. So, the, just I have briefly shown you how superposition theorem can be verified by having two power supplies and three resistors and we have seen that it exactly follows the uh, idea that we already uh, looked at. Thank you. We will go back 